Well, good morning, guys. I made it to clinic in one piece, and um, oh, I figured out uh, what it is about the Sun Warrior protein that was a little off. What what it is about the Sun Warrior protein? See, they have their ingredients listed in like a bifocal manner, which is odd. Um, but it is it it is pea protein based, but it also has hemp seed protein in it, which I think is kind of giving it that that germy kind of greeny texture. Then this morning, wouldn't you know it, I spilled cashew milk all over the floor. Um, that was a mess. It's like I don't have opposable thumbs until I get enough coffee in me. Anyways, I am alert and oriented and uh, ready to buzz on in, so I'll check in with you guys later. Right, guys, so work day is done. I'm over right here in Target because cause I need um, AAA batter. I need AAA batteries for the uh, for those little lights. And why don't you guys clue me into this Ibotta app? Um, and apparently I can get a rebate if I get them here. But there's a screaming child over there. And so I'm just gonna spare you all of their temper tantrum. And I cannot. I'm like, I don't know what hasn't been fed in a decade or something. Like threw themselves on the ground, kicking and screaming. Zero tolerance. But the Friday Q&A last week, we were talking about ingrown hairs. One thing I didn't mention, this product. Here. Tin skin. Do you guys ever use this? It's basically salicylic acid here. But I never realized how expensive it is. Look, it's 19 bucks. Oh, it's made in Davie, Florida. My mom was spent her formative years there. She speaks fondly of a cornbread muffin they served in the cafeteria. Yeah, it's basically salicylic acid. Supposedly helps, but I had no idea it was that expensive. We have one with a little bit of topical lidocaine, which is numbing. That's just numbing cream there. Yeah, but I've had both men and women tell me that that helps. And it makes sense it has salicylic acid in it. Um, but I think it's like a nice salve going on, so I don't know. It's kind of like an aftershave, but... Chemical depilatories are always another option, but they can be incredibly irritating. Um, Basically breaks up the uh, sulfur bonds in the hair, just kind of dissolves it away. And I mean, honestly, I can't really picture a guy putting nair on his face. That seems... I wouldn't do that, yeah. I, I wouldn't put nair on the face, honestly. It seems like it'd be very irritating. But you guys know I have the compulsion to buy different fragrances of shampoo. And along with that, I can't just get the shampoo by itself. I have to get the matching conditioner. And I really don't use much conditioner, like hardly any at all, because I just find that I only need a small amount on the tips and that's it. Um, but I use the leftover conditioner as a shaving cream. Oh look guys, they're even trying to uh, sell a bleaching cream for your dog. Oh, my goodness. It's like fade cream for a dog. This is basically human shampoo. Pearlizing agent? What is that? I guess it just makes it look pearly. Deodorant for the dog? Okay, this is ridiculous. No, I can't give out skincare recs for your dog. Oh, but I also need laundry detergent. And um, shout out, did any of you guys watch my eczema video that went live today? I have eczema, so I try and get laundry detergent that doesn't have any dyes or additives in it. And um, FYI, it's always a good idea to wash new clothes before before wearing if you're eczema prone because the dyes in the fabric you can develop an allergy to. It's the aniline dye usually. No, aniline's not toxic, but if you have itchy, dry, rashy, irritated eczema skin, you can develop an allergy to it. So uh, one way to reduce the chance of that is to rinse the is to wash the clothing before you wear it when it's new because that's when the dye is like most intense. This doesn't have any perfumes or dyes. But I'm also saying that the Up and Up brand has a version, free and clear laundry detergent, free of dyes and perfumes, whitens, brightens, and fights tough stains. That's a lot to ask. How well does it wash gray, navy, and white? It's like basically my wardrobe. It's kind of a battle that I choose for myself having eczema because I really just love fragrance and I always lust over these scented uh, detergents. Like Thai dragon fruit. I really want to wash my clothing with that, but I know I shouldn't. Did you guys know that dragon fruit is the same thing as pitaya? It's like they've rebranded the fruit 
to be pitaya to make it sound more, I don't know, super foody. Oh yeah, don't use fabric softener. This will worsen things. See, they're trying to they're trying to trick you into thinking that this is good for you. But... This is a brand whose premise is that it's good for the environment, but aren't these laundry packets like more waste? I don't understand, but apparently if I buy this quote-unquote safer choice, um, I will uh, get three dollars off. All right, so I'm over here in the salad dressing only because Marissa Lace was talking about this. She, I don't. I'm not really a fan of ranch dressing, but she was saying how this is essentially vegan. But something about the company policy—they refuse to say vegan on it. So FYI, vegans, you can get this here. Um, and she says it's really good. Um, they have ranch, and apparently you can get this on the Ibotta app. Yeah, here at Target. Oh, it's got shiitake mushrooms in it. Hopefully the shiitake mushrooms are cooked, otherwise you'll get a flagellate dermatosis. Shout out if you remember from where that was from. <laughs> hey guys, I'm all back from my Target escapade and um, it's all clean in the apartment. The uh, replacement cleaning crew came again and they did yet again a good job. But um, I'm just putting a few drops of my Australian lemon myrtle oil in my garbage disposal. I am loving this stuff, guys. Some of you guys mentioned that you picked it up, too. Um, I got mine on Vitacost, but I'll link it down below. I'm just loving it. It says it gets rid of mold, which, you know, here with the humidity can be quite a problem. So um, I've been loving it. It really leaves my garbage disposal um, nice and kind of fresh but um anyways i did real good at target guys i went in there and the key is if you're going in there for like one or two things do not touch the carts you stay away from the carts <laughs> otherwise you'll leave with a bunch of stuff you don't need i only got what i went in there for i thought it'd be fun to kind of figure out the ibotta app because everything that i got in there was uh, stuff that i needed that was available on this ibotta um, app which is a discount app where i guess you get rebate uh, uh, that shows you rebates for things in stores that you shop at in in your area. So the Energizer Max batteries are normally, I guess, $13.79, and they were on sale for $11.99, so they were already $1.80 off, um, and I needed these. I got um, It's $2 cash back, so you basically say unlocked cash, check product barcodes, so and it makes a little ding. I'm, I'm somebody who's gratified by dings, okay. And then we hit verify purchases. And then they also have one for um, the laundry packs. And then the Kavita water, which you guys know I love. This is 50 cents off apparently on this app. Oh, there it goes, and verify it, okay. And so now you just submit a cap, now you just capture the receipt. Oh wow, it says you did it. $5.50 will be added to your account within 24 hours. Plus you get an extra $10 off for completing the welcome bonus, which is basically like you participate in doing it within, the, I think, the first week. So that's cool. And then deposit it in PayPal, Venmo, or you can get a gift card for Target to buy more stuff at Target. Kmart, Gap, Applebee's, and Joann's, Old Navy. Oh, Best Buy, and oh, the Amazonian. Um, so you can get a lot of good gift cards. Whole Foods, um, awesome. Sephora, Bum Bum Cream. Um, I love it. Thank you, whoever introduced me to that. I'm really liking, I like that idea. Well, hey guys, I just got back from the gym and took my shower. And thank you all so much for all of your sweet, kind uh, comments on today's eczema video. Um, you guys seem to like it and, and found the information helpful. So that's great. Um, and some of you were talking about, um, you know, how you have a uh, hand dermatitis. Um, I myself get that too, you know, dry cracked fingertips and whatnot, hand eczemas, um, really common. And um, some of you mentioned that you use uh, Neutrogena's Norwegian formula. I love this stuff. Uh, it's great. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it does feel nice going on. It's great. When I say thick and greasy, this is an ointment, guys. It's this kind of stuff that comes out like, like white like this. Ugh. Like that's an ointment. When you have really, really dry, cracked uh, skin, either on your lips, your hands, your feet, a patch of incredibly dry skin, this is the kind of sealant that you want there. Um, 
But another one that I really like is this one, Vanny Ply Ointment. Uh, the reason I like this is because it doesn't have lanolin in it, which is an all-natural ingredient derived from sheep's fleece. Um, and when your skin is dry and cracked and fissured, it has a tendency to, it's a little bit more prone to developing allergies to uh, not only lanolin, but also fragrance, parabens, and formaldehydes. Uh, parabens and formaldehyde are preservatives that, as far as we know, are perfectly safe to be applied to an intact skin. But when applied to skin plagued by eczema that's dry and cracked and kind of raw and open, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it um, predisposes the individual to developing allergic contact dermatitis. So I like this one. Um, it doesn't have lanolin, it doesn't have dye or fragrance, vanny ply. And uh, a pro tip, guys, if you're really battling with it, get you some of these. Get you some of these. I got them at CVS. I bet the Amazonian has it. I'll see if I can't find them on the Amazonian and link it down below. Just do a little Michael Jackson action here and let it, let it soak in. It makes like a nice seal in there. Well, I'm going to go feed myself um, and kind of relax a little bit from a uh, hump day um but uh, i'm going to conclude the vlog here guys i hope you enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye